What's up guys? I know it's been a while, but here I am again with a whole bunch of stuff in front of me. Uh, it's it's a time of the year where I, I do, I've done this every year for the past couple of years. Um, I at least did it last year. Um, where I go through everything I got for Christmas. Because I know it's a, it's a time of giving. I gave a lot, I, I gave a lot of presents to people. In return, I got a lot back. And yeah, in this video I'm going to show you what I got. Not to be like bragging or anything, just to maybe just be some for, uh, to be inspirational in terms of what gifts uh, or what items you could buy yourself in the future. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. In no particular order, I'm just going to go through things. So uh, first up, right on top here, the Google Home Mini. I actually got two of them. Uh, one for a cousin, one for my parents. And I now have one in this room, in my office, and one in my bedroom. Uh, so if I say something like, and I'm sorry if your ones go off. Um, okay, Google, uh, what time is it? It's 12.22. Yeah. They're really cool, um, especially I'm planning to upgrade my house with like uh, new light bulbs and stuff. Not everywhere, just in a few places, like next to my bed, on each side of my bed. I have two lamps, I want to get them. Upgrade to be smart, and the Google Home would definitely help with that. Uh, next up, we have a new controller, a new wireless Xbox One controller, which I'll actually be using my PC primarily, uh, and my new setup, because when my PC is on and all the like, LEDs are on, I call my setup Pandora, like uh, from Avatar, it's kind of blue, everything's kind of glowy, and this controller definitely fits that. Uh, it's really, really nice, everything is blue, uh, so it's either this light, like, uh, this really bright, like, intense blue, or it's a darker blue, like, on the back. Uh, really, really cool right there. I think my only game I got this year, uh, which is surprising, because usually I get a whole bunch of games, uh, I'm not, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, I'm saying it's just, it's cool that I got a variety this year, is The Sims 4 on PlayStation 4. Uh, I do have The Sims on PC, I don't have The Sims 4. I've heard mixed things about it, uh, but I'm always excited to get in there and, uh, and build my own house. Alright, so um, there's a, a few smaller gifts um, that I get every year. So this is like a tape dispenser, which looks like an old cassette tape. Just something small there from my parents. Uh, I got like a, well this stocking. Uh, usually when like we give stockings to each other in my family, we usually fit with food and, and snacks and drinks and stuff like that. It's not really filled with any real items. So we have Do uh, Dr. Pepper here because Dr. Pepper isn't as easy to get as, in it, as it is in other countries. Uh, Nutella and Go right there uh, from the stocking as well. And then there's a whole bunch of uh, different candies in here and snacks for me to munch on on my time off this holiday season. As well, in that uh, stocking for my sister was the Hershey's syrup. This would be really good for like some hot chocolates, some chocolate milks, um, and just on top of like ice cream and stuff. Like it's it's a really versatile uh, chocolate syrup right there. Uh, probably the biggest box I got this year uh, was this. This is the Atari Flashback Eight. So kind of uh, like in the same realm as like the uh, I guess the SNES Mini and the, and the NES Mini. Uh, it's, except it's not a mini console. It's a it's a full, almost full size console, Atari console, and then you got the uh, you got two controllers in this box uh, right there. So it's the old school controllers, which is really cool. I never got my hands on these older games because of when I was born and when I started playing games. I was a lot older. Newer stuff came out, but this has a hundred and five different games for me to play, um, so I'm definitely going to get on there, I'm definitely going to set this up. Um, if you guys want to see more footage of this, uh, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to make a video on it. Uh, but some games that it does have, uh, the ones on the front, uh, say Kaboom, River Raid, Space Invaders, Centipede, Frogger, Yars, Re Yars' Revenge, and... I don't know what that is. Um... I don't know. There's games, there's games in here. Let's just say that much. In terms of pop vinyls this year, I got th three of them, all from my girlfriend. Uh, the first is Korg from Thor Ragnarok, my favourite character in the movie. Uh, just his accent, the way he talked, everything like that was so funny. 
Because he's such a big character and he just stands there, he's like, Over here, the pile of rocks waving at you. Here. Yeah, I'm actually a thing. I'm a being. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Korg. I'm kind of like the leader in here. Hey bro, welcome to uh, welcome to this place. Uh, good luck. Uh, yeah, cuz. That's my impersonation of a, of a, a Kiwi accent right there. Not very good. Not very good at all. Then we have Stan Lee. Uh, he had three pop models come out. This one is from The Winter Soldier. Right there. Uh, really, really cool. I'll probably do a video of these in the future, like pop model videos, because I haven't done them in a while. And this is the rock, this is the old school rock uh, from wrestling, from WWE, and I guess from WWF back in the day, especially with what he's wearing. Uh, one of my favorite items, and it's really funny that I say this because they're, I guess, not the most expensive item of the bunch. Uh, they just one that I really like. So these are two of uh, the new set that are selling, I think, exclusively here in Australia from JB Hi Fi. Uh, these are the VHS Blu-rays, which is two words that don't usually go together. Uh, so basically what these are is they look like old VHS boxes, but inside, instead of being a VHS, you have a couple of different items. So I have Back to the Future and Jurassic Park. In the Back to the Future one, you get four different things. So you get the Blu-ray itself, because you, you, know, you want to watch this thing. You get these two kind of cards. I don't know exactly what they call them. Um, I don't know if it actually says what they are, but they're kind of like these two, like, I don't know, I guess like a movie car, they shoot like parts of the movie, whatnot right there. But then you also get an iron-on transfer, and this one's for Biff's auto detailing. So I want to get kind of like a white shirt and put it there, it looks like a like an auto detailing shop. Uh, that's really cool right there, and then pretty, pretty much the same thing for Jurassic Park, you get the, uh, the iron-on transfer and whatnot. These are two of my favorite items for the whole of Christmas. And it's funny, again, because, yeah, they're not the most craziest items out there. Uh, this right here is a, uh, a, a book. Uh, I'm going to say a picture. I guess it's kind of a picture book, kind of a half picture book, half kind of... Like, let me just show you a page, just show you what I'm talking about. So, I guess you can call it a picture book. Uh, this is for my girlfriend, because she knows how much I love Willy Wonka and all things Wonka. Uh, so this is called My Golden Ticket. It's basically like a uh, custom story with my name all through it. The cool thing is, she paid a little bit extra, and it smells like chocolate. It, it, it's not like an overpowering chocolate, but especially when I was, I was like, like flipping through there, I definitely had this chocolate smell all throughout. Very, very cool right there. I haven't finished reading it yet, um, but it's basically about my time at the chocolate factory. I really wish I, I can go to a chocolate factory. I can't, but that's a different story. Uh, Speaking of chocolate, got some chocolates and whatnot and little uh, gifts right there. This I'll get to in a second. That's part of a different gift. Uh, got you know every year you get every every Christmas people get told that they stink a little bit. Uh, so I got the David Beckham Instinct uh, like uh, aftershave and shower gel set. Uh, you know everyone gets something like that every year. I believe, anyway. Uh, I also have my brand new calendar for the brand new year. So every year I get one of these calendars from somebody at least. Um, so this year is another Star Wars one. I have my Star Wars one there. It's up to date. I really actually keep up to date on a handwritten calendar, which is with me because I'm such a tech nerd. Uh, but this is obviously a Star Wars calendar with a whole bunch of Star Wars, uh, like, uh, images favorite single month so almost done here uh, this was one of the first times I opened this year it's a pen set um, I have a few of these I have a I think it's Darth Vader's helmet one uh, with all like really cool Darth, uh, really cool Star Wars characters in it this is a Millennium Falcon with BB-8, Rey, Han Solo and Chewbacca on the inside the, 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 the ones with the face are kind of creepy. They're a little bit scary, but uh, that's pretty cool right there. Um, I only open them sometimes. Usually they stay as they are. Uh, so let's leave those again. The Christmas tree is just there for decoration. Um, my girlfriend, the two kind of biggest gifts, I guess, I got from her this year. But the first one, which we've already been to as of recording this, was the Brickman Awesome Show. Uh, so this is basically a Lego exhibition. Uh, so this guy, 
I can't remember his name, but he basically designs and then builds these huge Lego sets. And I have photos on screen of what we saw yesterday. We saw crazy things like um, penguins, we saw the DeLorean, we saw a rocket ship, we saw the Eiffel Tower, uh, the Sydney Opera House. Everything was built with Lego and it was really cool because it all had like little uh, hidden gems all throughout. Like, for example, uh, he had this big ship and on the ship all these different things are happening and one of the parts there was a uh, there was a container, like a container ship, uh, and one of the containers opened and little penguins like having a fight with the people on the ship with like big forks and whatnot, which is pretty funny. And then the second thing she got me, the second ticket uh, for something she got me, is we're gonna be going to this uh, in the next month or two. Uh, it is Star Wars A New Hope in concert. So that's really cool. Uh, basically, it's like the music from Star Wars. Uh, I don't know exactly how it all works. I haven't mean, been to a, a movie in concert before, but it's with the uh, Sydney Symphony, the Sydney Symphony Orchestra. Uh, that's gonna be a lot of fun. Dean, stop! I almost forgot to put this in here. Uh, this is my backpack that I got from my secret Santa for my family Christmas gathering uh so this is a security backpack so what this basically does is there's no zip on the front the zipper is actually hidden behind here it's just for protection when you're going out you know you don't want to get your stuff stolen uh but another cool feature is there's actually a usb extender cable in here plugged into my power uh bank so what i do is if i'm ever running low on juice on my phone i can just plug it into here it's actually usb right in there press power on my power bank and my backpack is basically charging my phone. Very, very cool right there. Um, I was going to make this backpack because it was on the floor. I wasn't on my desk. Um, so I guess get, let's, we'll, we'll switch back to what I was talking about a second ago. So the last gift right here is part of the kind of funny Secret Santa. If you don't know what Secret Santa is, that's a bit weird. If you don't know what kind of funny, kind of funny is, you're even a little bit weirder. But um, I was given this gift. Uh, after I gave a gift to somebody else and oh, what was his name? I apologize, dude. Uh, Luke Luke you went up like above and beyond This galaxy you, you're gonna see what I said that in a second here. So first up he sent a couple of different things which is really cool uh, so he is from Wakatani I believe is how you pronounce it and I apologize if my Kiwi pronunciations are incorrect, but Wakatani is, I believe, how you pronounce it. Uh, he's from like from a little town in New Zealand, Australia's little brother or sister, uh, kind of. I mean, we're not related, but you know, they're still right next to us. So he sent a bunch of little postcards showing how beautiful of a place he lives in, which I thought was really nice, really something different. Really cool right there. Uh, then the first thing I saw when I opened up the package from him was this. It is Family Guy, uh, something, 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 Dark Side. So this is the Star Wars, uh, like the parody, I guess, that uh, they do on Family Guy. It's a, how long? It's like an hour and a half, almost, um, of a movie, which is really cool. 52 minutes, so an hour. Uh, this actually comes with, though, the Blu-ray, the DVD, the digital copy. I love that, that's really damn cool. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna have a watch of that. And then I got this. And before I opened this, all I read was, uh, I hope you enjoy the drawing. And I was like, hold up. And then I looked at it and I was like, hold up a second. Guys, this is hand drawn uh, by Luke. I'm, I'm assuming by Luke, he gave it to me. It is, Freaking amazing. So if you guys can't see that, I'll do a close up uh, if, if, it's, if this isn't good enough uh, to show the details. But Luke drew this, sent it to me, and I'm definitely gonna frame this, put it up on my wall. Luke, I cannot thank you enough. This is the coolest thing I have ever received. And to make it even cooler, let me find the postcard that sent it. Give me a second here. Okay, I found the postcard. It says, I hope you enjoy this picture of you, me, that's myself, versus Darth Greggy, and of course, the Family Guy Blu-ray. So, on the right-hand side of the picture, 
right over here. That's me. That's this guy right here that's standing in front of you. Having a lightsaber battle with Greg Miller dressed up as Darth Vader, Darth Greggy, right there. Guys, I cannot tell you, I can express how amazing this really is. I I just I almost I almost freaked out. I almost went crazy when I first opened this. Just to see how amazing it was. The amount of detail that's being put into this. It is absolutely amazing. What I kind of want to do is frame this and put it up just here. Uh, just to give it give the attention it needs. Um, again, Luke, thank you so much. And to everyone, like my family, my friends, everyone who got me gifts for Christmas. I want to thank them as well. I'm going to put, he put it in this uh, cardboard to protect it while shipping. I'm going to put it back in this cardboard because I don't want to ruin it until I get a, a nice frame for it. Uh, but guys, that has been Christmas for 2017. The next video you guys probably see from me is my 2017 wrap up video uh, saying welcome to 2018. That's usually how I start the year on the channel. Uh, I'll be doing a bit of an update in there to talk about what's happening with my life, my channel, my everything in between. And Luke, I hope one day to come to Wakatani I'll say a good old good day to you when I get there. But guys, that has been this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, it helps me out, it helps you out, lets you know when I am live and up and running and bringing a new video for you guys. I uh, hit the little bell icon, it will actually notify you properly here on YouTube because YouTube's a little bit broken as of uh, right now. But do let me know what you got for Christmas in the comment section down below. I'm bringing out a bunch of content in 2018, but until then, peace.